So you guys know about flat earths, right? I am a flat earther, actually, though. Really? That's not a conspiracy because it's real. <laughs> <laughs> how, can you, how can you back that up logically that the earth is flat? If you have to ask, you'll never know. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great response. I'm going to start wow. using that anytime somebody asks me a question ever. Yeah. yeah it's if a good way to, to just get out of it. Wait, say it again? <laughs> if you have to ask, you'll you never, never know. know. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Yeah. It really shuts you <laughs> up. The bouncer's I, like, I, I had nothing. The bouncer's me. like, all right, really, how old are you? I was like, if you have to you ask, you'll, <laughs> you'll never know. He's like, what? Get Are out. Are you on something, <laughs> kid? Go home. I will say the few times I've used that, people have responded pretty negatively. People <laughs> don't like hearing that. It makes them mad, so do it by all means. Well, it worked here because I, I, I had nothing for you. <laughs> yeah, like I, in court, in court, that'd be a good response. Your Honor, if you have to ask, you'll never know. <laughs> <laughs> no further questions. <laughs> Yeah, because I usually, when I meet people, I just don't be like, hey, I have, like, 800,000, like, followers. What's up? Like, I won't do that. Yeah, if you said that, I'd be like, okay, okay. No, Calm it's down. Like, yeah, I won't be do like Do you know that. who I am? Do you know who I am? You? I'm Daryl. I'm Daryl. <laughs> I have 800,000 yeah. subscribe or followers <laughs> on TikTok. Yeah, I can't. I don't do that. So it's, just, it's weird. But that, that's how I met other people, too. Like, the swimming team, they knew me before I knew them because of tiktok yeah there's like oh my god you're the tiktok girl i was like i don't know because like we eat at a dining hall at the same time and just like yeah, i don't know i I, don't, I would deny it because i'm very embarrassed to talk about it in person because i why are you embarrassed okay i post so many things online because I'm, I'm so open to my followers like whatever happens in my life i will share it to them but not like too much but like i'll just share it to them you're just an open book, an open person. Mm-hmm. And, like, I'm not embarrassed of myself. Mm-hmm. But, like, I'll just open up to them and be like, hey, I did this today. Hey, like, you know, like, yeah, I'm so open to them. And it's just, like, that's why, like, when they meet people, it's like, oh, my God, they know about this stuff, this stuff. And, like, I don't know anything about them. And it's just weird for I'm me. I'm the exact same way because I, I used to make vines. Do mm-hmm. you remember vines? Mm-hmm. Okay, so yeah. I used to make that, and I used to be, like, the – I, I mean, not like everybody called me this, but it, every once in a while on campus, they'd be like, oh, it's the Vine guy. Mm-hmm. It's the Vine guy. Yeah. And I, I didn't reach like your level of popularity, but I, I think I hit like 10 million loops and yeah, like 40,000 mm-hmm. followers. I think that's right. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah. And so like people would notice me that I didn't even know on campus and they'd mm-hmm. be like, hey, you make Vines, right? And I'd be like, yeah, I do. Mm-hmm. And it is. It's weird. You're like, you know something about me and or at I least you've seen some of my videos and know something about my humor. Mm-hmm. But I have no idea who you are. But nice to meet you. Yeah, it's just so weird to feel that way, and it's just like then if I people say that to me, I have to rethink what I posted. Like I'm be like, what did I post? I have to delete it or something like that because I'm so embarrassed uh-huh. about it. So I don't know. Well, about that do. also, there was some person, just like the first person to ever just start singing. Everybody's like, what the fuck <laughs> is this guy shit. doing? <laughs> like this guy's just kind of yelling weird <laughs> imagine the first person that created edm like uh. or dubstep <laughs> or dubstep came before edm you ever seen who skrillex is <laughs> yes i've seen skrillex live those Great are the point. type of people that have started <laughs> doing edm for the first time just on so much molly just like yes 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 this sounds great what with the brace drop <laughs> i'm gonna press you? all these buttons at once <laughs> No, that was a good point. I'm just imagining like a dude sitting around a fire and he just starts like snapping. He's just like, she's got eyes. Like, <laughs> everybody's like, what the, the fuck, fuck are you doing? Are you doing? <laughs> and then others are like, oh, that's good. Keep doing that. Wait, wait. We could make, we could make some money off <laughs> that's this. That's pretty maybe. good, actually. <laughs> they rented another human body. Have you never heard of ha- someone having a surrogate? I've never heard of this. Well, like a lot of people that can't have children, like they have surrogates. It's like really common. No, I've never heard it's, of this. Well, I mean, like, haven't you seen on um, on Friends? Did you ever watch Friends? I watched Friends. You, you watched one single friend? No. Um, <laughs> Phoebe. I, just, I was only watching Jennifer Aniston <laughs> the entire time. Phoebe was a surrogate for her, like, on the show, her brother and his wife, like, needed, like, she couldn't carry the baby, so they, like, um, so, like, what they do is they put the sperm and the egg together, 
uh, like not in a petri dish, but like you know, just for your imagination, they put it together in a petri dish, and then they insert that into someone else. And they rent the womb for nine months. Yeah. That is either what. And so like it's they like did the that. greatest favor you could do for somebody, yeah, yeah. or then, it's like. And then she had, and then they ended up having triplets. And like that's common because oh like if you're so you're gonna you're gonna do multiple eggs because only like you expect like out of the eight eggs like one will attach well the triplets were all fraternal obviously because it was two boys and a girl so that was like three separate eggs that actually attached and grew in phoebe I theoretically didn't know this in the was show possible. really i didn't know this was possible so like but you clearly just it is if it happened on friends yeah it's clearly no possible. it really is i mean i learned about it in genetics and stuff but so you just assume that like if you couldn't have a baby you just like were out of luck is that what you just it was that just your world view? Well, I, I never thought it that far into the future, but, but I, I, I mean didn't like know you could general. rent you could rent well, womb you're space. Rent, you're not renting womb space. You're borrowing it. Y- yeah. That's the same thing. Right? It's just like asking someone for their liver or <laughs> something. <laughs> Bro, can I have one of your kidneys? Yeah, yeah, but can you carry my kids? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sick ass trade. I'll see yeah, you. I'll see you at the <laughs> operating table. <laughs> no, working out has addictive properties. There's endorphins released. Scientifically, you can absolutely get addicted to working out mm-hmm. and become obsessed and think about it all the time. Um, and I've been there. Honestly, I go in stages. I'll have times where it's on my mind all the time, I'm just trying to get in the gym and work on my body, self betterment. You know, I want to feel better. But um, yeah, it's interesting finding that balance of when is it dedication. And when is it taking too far mm-hmm. and just becoming obsessed? Absolutely. Yeah. When is it taking control of my life? You know, because I've, I've, I don't know about you guys, but I've gotten to that point to where, like, if I didn't work out, if, you know, if I went a day without working out, like, I felt like shit. I was like, man, I'm going to lose, I'm going to lose all my gains. Like, I'm I would shame like myself. I had a I problem would, with, like, mm-hmm. shaming myself. I'd be mm-hmm. like, you piece of shit. You didn't right. work out yesterday. It's mm-hmm. like, yeah, I'm here today, but, like, fuck you. You didn't go yesterday. Right, right. Like, way too intense with your, like, self-talk and that's when it becomes unhealthy and also when you start affiliating yourself with it like when it starts defining who you are and who you hang out with and like when you i i've known some friends you know that have gotten to that point to where they don't even want to be around overweight people they don't even want to be affiliated with people that don't work out because they like they they f- either, I, don't, I don't I don't know if they feel shitty about themselves or they just don't want to be affiliated with they, they like they don't want to be seen if they're not like minded then they're inferior they're not, or yeah, something yeah yeah who are we gonna talk about if we're not talking about our our squat PRs bro it's a good point yeah, yeah I don't what what else is there right I mean I don't know <laughs> oh there's there's, uh, there's also their chest lit. chest oh yeah I I always forget about that one mm-hmm. yep yep yep. Never been a strong suit of mine, but yeah, I feel. But Bicep yeah. curls as well, bro. Oh, there you you go. were just doing titty dances earlier. What are you talking <laughs> about? Oh, ooh, ooh, daddy's oh. home. <laughs> daddy's home. <laughs> so let's let's uh, let's backtrack. Do you think you're hooked on the oh, on the yeah. enjoy? They play this game where if you say a word consecutively twice in a row, they twice you. They're like, oh, twice, and everybody freaks out. They're like, oh, you got even twice. the same phrase. So if you were to say. Hey Huff, how you doing? And I go, what? Hey Huff, how you doing? Twice, and then we all start fucking freaking out. You just twice the same yourself, pe- by the way. I said I kept talking. So. Oh yeah, I guess you're right. See, I'm new to the game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, and they, pretty much you say the same thing two times in a row, get twice, and you're fucked, and we're gonna freak out. So I was just so opposed and hated this game for the longest time because they would just set me up constantly. I'd say something, they'd be like, Oh, you're what? the newbie, and they're yeah. fucking with you. Yeah, and then it. I just said yeah twice And it's just little shit like that And it would piss me off Because I guess I also have a bad habit Of saying words twice in a row I definitely do I know I do No see that's it's, that's what I'm saying It's a good thing Like it trains you to not say the same thing Two times in a row It trains you to create a new sentence Like expand your vocab But it's also you guys just say the words twice in a row Sometimes and say said after it Right so I don't get twice. But this game has <laughs> been going on for so long, and I'm new to it. And when I say new, I'm, like, been around it for, like, a year. Oh, <laughs> shit. And I'm new to it, and I get twice all the time. I've probably gotten twice five times tonight. What? 
You heard what I said. <laughs> <laughs> you got <laughs> headphones on your ears. Hey, you were a little away from the mic. So what so. if what if somebody like genuinely doesn't hear you though? It doesn't and then matter. You say and then what everybody again, makes and then fun like of you. Right. Everybody yell, we'll be in a restaurant and they'll just go oh, like get out of their chair. <laughs> <laughs> Yelling at him, everybody's looking, just like you're ever just pointing at me. I'm like, fuck, I just don't care. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but he does care. I, I it's been, to me, <laughs> yeah, no, he it's cares. It's to me. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and, oh man, it's yeah, it's brutal. And they do that, and I just try to act like I don't care, but they can oh. tell oh. that I care, and He's they just caring. keep it going. <laughs> so I used to say that I don't play the game, so they can't twice me. But I've definitely you gotten. Play. I've definitely been playing. You definitely play. I've gotten Austin, maybe twice. And I've gotten twice. You, you twice him twice. But yeah. Twice. Twice. No, he twice said you twice. Oh, you're him good. Twice. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah, good. Exactly. I said. Give us the intro, Landon, in the WWE voice. And coming out of the left side of the ring, weighing in at 165 pounds, walking up, ready to knock this one out of the park. We have Jordan <laughs> Fisher. <laughs> <laughs> Coming in at 5'10", 175 pounds, this man lifts like a freaking machine. We have Caleb Miller. <laughs> the boys are riled up. Yeah. They're riled up. Yeah. We're here, baby. Let's get it. <laughs> Let's get it. On a real note, though, I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's on video. <laughs> I wonder if you can see him in there. This guy's hey, cheers. Yeah, cheers. Oh, oh he's got the whoa. big boy. Oh, he's, yeah. he's showing us <laughs> off. What the heck? Oh, God, come on, no. man. Well, let's, come let's on. Let's go. Let's plastered. We, we got this. We got this. And this. <laughs> this old guy is calling us all a bunch of pussies right now. <laughs> I've had enough crowd participation. This glass is soundproof. <laughs> <laughs> I've had enough crowd participation. <laughs> Dude, can they hear? Like, I don't think they can hear us at all. It's much louder out there. Yeah, it's pretty loud out there. Okay, cool. But no, I haven't heard this. No. Getting rid of pennies. Not not necessarily that it's like a thing that's going to happen, but it should. About just because like it's. They cost more to produce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I listened to a podcast. So this is like Inception, actually, that I was like, I'm talking about a podcast on a podcast. Mm. But I was all about that, about how unnecessary (coughs) pennies are. Oh, yes, that ASMR. ASMR. Whatever. Um, and just how unnecessary they are and how it actually help the economy. It would help the, like, w- what, the national treasury that actually mints the money. Like, it would help that. It would somehow, like, I don't know, somehow help inflation or some, some crap like that. I don't know. But I listen to this whole long thing, and I don't know. I'm on board. I don't have all the facts, <laughs> but I say we get rid of that penny. They 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 convince me. And also just, like, Get the rid of that penny. Th- yeah, and just, like, the fact that if you're walking on the ground, are you going to pick up a penny? Like, genuinely, if you're sweeping, if you're sweeping, do you, s- I don't know if you sweep. I don't know. You, you're not on the, you're, that's not one of your chores on the list, so I don't know <laughs> if you do it. If you're sweeping and you sweep up a penny, do you do you take it out? I'm going to be honest. I've thrown a penny away before. Probably more than once. I don't know if I care much. I'm going to be honest. If I'm cleaning out the bottom of my purse and there's, like, three pennies and a, just a bunch of, like, crumbs or trash or whatever, I'm just throwing it all away. I'm just dumping it all out. Uh, so yeah, I've I've thrown away many pennies, many pennies in my day. I feel like a micro Bill Gates. Have you ever heard that stat? If Bill Gates takes the time to pick up a hundred dollar bill, then he's actually losing money because he's making more money in that time yeah. than it takes to like yeah. bend over and grab it. I feel like a I'm like a micro Bill Gates right now because I don't think I'd pick up that penny. Yeah, I'm kind of balling. Yeah, Woo. that Which or I'm I mean, just like not Jewish. One of the two. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. That's funny. That's the only way that we're going to cut this short. <laughs> okay. What was it? Old men marrying In within 90 days mm-hmm. Filipino women? Mm-hmm. It's wild. I know it is wild. I mean, it's actually normal for us to see, honestly. It's very normal for us to see because, like, we see other Filipinos getting married to an American guy, too. Like how common? It's re- It's actually really common, but it's not. They all meet online. Yeah, they all meet online. It's not just American. It's um, French guys, European guys. It's literally all white guys. 
That's crazy. Because they like we want to make cute babies. Mm -hmm. (laughs) So that they that's what they want. They want the white like the white and Filipino babies, or they want, or do they want like the money or what is it? We everything. Like I've said, it's everything. It's literally like total package. Because like Americans have good nose, Americans have good height, Americans have white skin. So like we would literally want that for our kids and Uh have money. And like we want that as kids, we want cute babies too. Americans have good noses. (laughs) Yeah, we have (laughs) taller noses. Like we don't like our nose. Like we have narrow noses. Like most of like the actresses and actors in the Philippines are half. It's really? Yeah, it's they are either ha- they have like blood. What does a half white baby, half Filipino baby look like? They're cute. That's <laughs> all I can tell you. They're so cute. Piss in the toilet and not flushing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why did everybody look at me? <laughs> <laughs> we Jordan, the mics closer to you. <laughs> I've I've spoken about this a little bit, but sometimes. Because my my room, for the viewers that don't know, is right up against the restroom wall. Sometimes Jordan I will Fisher hear, on one side, bathroom on the other. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and mean, sometimes, you Jordan, I hear you <laughs> using the restroom, urinating, and p- part of the reason I know it's you is because there's a YouTube lecture going. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Mid piss. I'll hear you not flush mid piss. And I won't say anything because I'm a coward and I'm afraid (laughs) of confrontation, (laughs) but it drives me up the wall. And I want you to know this now, but right before you move out, Brett's just beating into his pillow in his room, (laughs) going nuts. Why doesn't he ever flush? He won't flush the fucking toilet. I'm screaming into my pillow almost nightly. (laughs) All right, and now let's go around and let's do uh, each of the worst things about living with us. Okay. Wait, wait, I need, can I, do I get like a a rebuttal? Can I defend myself? Yeah, defend yourself. Absolutely, absolutely. I don't don't see the defense, but go ahead. (laughs) (laughs) It's just just so, my arms are so tired of the body's lifted into the head. I think what it is, is I'm a, I'm a, a very, as Grant called me, extremely frugal. I don't think he used those words, but we'll go with those words. I'm cost Cheap. efficient. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think the words were stingy, but so I'm, I'm a cost efficient guy. I'm thinking about the, the natural resources. I'm thinking about our utility no bill. No more flushing. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> if we could just stack some, some pisses on top. You know, sure, sure. I and then let it just all mix together. Let it swirl up as long as no uh, gross, only dude. only flush when girls are over. <laughs> That's it. You know, just let it stack up a little it's bit. Better than pissing in the basement. Yeah, <laughs> I've done oh, that too. Dude, you have no idea how many five a.m. pisses I've done into that drain. <laughs> <laughs> Kenny, flashlight, dude. curtain, pants. Fuck going upstairs. I'm tired. Dude, I'm just like, I don't want to do this right now. I don't want to piss, but I have to. One bathroom on the top floor. Yeah, Yeah, that was a downfall. The odds are if I go up there and somebody's in there, I'm going to be so upset. (laughs) I mean, like, Jennifer Aniston. Like, I'd be cool if I met her. Or, like, a lot of, like, Miley Cyrus. Love that girl. I'm a Miley. I'm a Miley girl, you know. But, like, just a lot of the other ones, it's just like, no, I'd rather rather meet YouTubers. Oh, yeah, for sure. Like Britney Spears, I could care less. Katy Perry, I could care less. Yeah, I think I would only care for both of them because they're physically attractive. That's it. I don't think I'd care about their work at all. <laughs> I'm trying to think of who else. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, yeah. But there, a lot of rappers. I don't even think I'd care that much. Oh no. Okay. It's if like I you can make good sounds. You I make good sounds that I listen to when I work out sometimes. <laughs> when I'm in in the club. Yeah. <laughs> Like, I, I don't think I'd be that excited to meet Wiz Khalifa. Oh, no. I don't know. No. I don't know. The only person, only, like, rapper, I'm going to throw air quotes around that one, that I would be, like, absolutely just freaking ecstatic to meet is Lil Dicky. Yeah, that I would be cool. I love that man. I'm pretty sure I would propose, just, like, on accident, because I love him so much. Just like, hey, and just nice like, to will you marry me? me? <laughs> like, <laughs> I didn't say that. I'm, I'm sorry. I'll <laughs> I, get up. I'll stand can up I now. Be Mrs. Lil Dicky. <laughs> can I, Mrs. Dick. Please. <laughs> can I be? Lil LD. <laughs> Miss LD. I, I have your underwear. <laughs> <laughs> Let me rephrase. I have I heart Lil Dicky underwear. Just so everyone knows, I don't actually have his underwear. That would be, <laughs> that would be so much cooler. That would be act. I, that would be. I. Well, maybe. That'd be pretty cool. Kind of weird. 
whatever, I'd run with it. <laughs> that would be cool. That'd be fantastic to meet a little Dicky. Because he's, he's a comedian as he's, well. Yeah, that's like his thing. He's funny, and I think that really goes to show. I think we really, uh, I think what we just found out here in this conversation is that me and you personally value humor over most skills. And we've talked about that before, but I think that that's what we're getting at is like, humor is like is the skill that we value like yeah. acting is yeah these these two differences they seem like there are some nuances but some similarities too mm -hmm. are just different approaches to kind of the same concept yeah that's why it's really weird if you like date a different person from a different culture too because you guys have different a lot different um perspective to each other but it's just literally meeting in the same things mm -hmm. i don't know it's weird so it's almost it's almost like a, like as a girl you're pursued by all these different guys maybe like four guys at a time mm -hmm. and then then you kind of like it's up to you like your terms to like decide on like what you want versus mm -hmm. here they almost decide on one they kind of pursue that one but then they they take attention from all these other mm -hmm. guys while with that one guy yeah and it's a bad thing like literally for that American lifestyle it's a bad thing to talk to a lot of guys you know mm -hmm. it's kind of like a bad thing oh she's a play girl like in the philippines it's not like it's like literally i'm okay with like like literally it's fine like that you choose the best you know mm -hmm. yeah so it's weird interesting mm -hmm. it's weird though that's why what you're saying it's like considered bad to talk to one guy here or to talk to multiple guys here mm -hmm. but back there it's not a bad thing yeah, I think so. I think it's not a bad thing in the Philippines to talk to, like, multiple guys that are pursuing you, that want to date you. But in here, it's just like, oh, my God, you talk to a lot of guys. It's bad. I think that's how Am Americans guys say that to me, though. It's like, oh, you talk to a lot of guys. That's, like, not, like, good. Mm -hmm. But for me, it's like, it's not like I'm doing with anything with them. It's just literally talking. You're kind of you're kind of making me reconsider my perspective on this because... Yeah, because, like, when I see a girl that talks to a lot of guys, it's kind of, to be honest, it's kind of a red flag. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a red flag. It's like, oh, she's just, like, not a, not a whore, but, like, mm -hmm. an attention whore. Mm -hmm. Like, she just wants she just wants all this attention. She's just craving attention all the time. Mm -hmm. And it's like, why is that? Because mm -hmm. you could speculate on that, and there could be a lot of reasons. Yeah. Like, I mean, like, I like, I'm not, like, flexing or anything. Like, I receive so many DMs every day. Mm -hmm. And it's just, like... I'm sure you do. I mean, like, I'm like, I'd be like scrolling. Oh, uh, I mean, I'm, re I'm I replied because I'm nice. I don't want to like, you know. But some guys would take it like, diff in a different level. Like, why are you responding to me? Do you like me? Or it's either like, why are you responding to me? Like, like, whatever. The reason is I'm just trying to be nice, like responding to them and stuff like that. And it's mm -hmm. just like, okay, that's it. So. It's fine for me, to be honest. Like, I don't know how... Amer that's why I'm so confused of um, how American dating works. Because it's so weird for me. 